Guasha, I have returned, and I'm looking forward to entertaining you with another Angry Blue Sock creation. As always, this is intended only for those with a sense of humor. <clears throat> for the haters, instead of watching my masterpiece, find the largest piece of coal possible, as well as a draw-up of your favorite lubrication. Shine it up real nice, turn that sun bit sideways, and stick it straight up your candy ass! In only a few hours, take it out, and you'll have a sparkling diamond you could call your very own. If you smell! What the sock is cooking. Ah, fuck. I have no goddamn eyebrows. You get the point. Anyway, since September 30, 1960, if you asked anyone who the most famous dinosaur in the world was, the answer you'd get would be Dino from the groundbreaking Flintstones cartoon. Without the monumental success of this show, the Simpsons would have never been created. Although still extremely popular, Fred and Wilma's purple pet hasn't come close to having that distinction since the early 1990s. In an extra bit of irony, his replacement is now known as the world's most famous Barney. Today's video is going to pay tribute to both shows in the best way I know how to. Hideously vulgar song parodies. Check it out. Hmm. <laughs> than a little horny. Time to whip out your cock. Don't forget to use some Vaseline. Grab a Kung Fu grip upon your meat. Use a tissue to avoid stain sheets. Someday, maybe you'll get laid at night. Till then, just jerk up with all your might. When you're done with your bone, it'll be a bust of fucking nut time. Release your sperm slime. Masturbation's no crime. Here we come. Yeah, baby. Now, Barney is most famous for being a lovable, innocent and cuddly dinosaur. The average person has no idea what he does behind closed doors. Let me shed some light upon this subject. <coughs> me, me, me. I want you to blow me while your thumbs inside of me when I drop my load. Won't you gargle with my goo? Then I will go down on you. I'm still hard. You're still wet. That means we are not done yet. So just spread your legs and we will begin to screw. I will find your G-spot too. Now it's time for doggy style then some sodomy. I just came again, but there's more for us to do. Use that strap on, that's good. Ooh. Pound me hard, fuck me fast.
Thrust it deep inside my ass Although I am straight I love things in my poop shoot Vegetables and also fruit We'll do this all night long Crystal meth keeps my cock strong Then I will pass out After all the drugs subside This may be the night I die Wow! That was a fucked up way to end the song. Mm -hmm. But, all too realistic, with some celebrities who find excessive fame and fortune at a very young age. Things that would be the highlight of the average person's entire life are just another day for people with that kind of money and fame and, of course, power. Eventually, they get bored. Fear they have done everything there is to do and begin to self-destruct. I hope some of the people who fit this description are able to turn their lives around. Britney Spears, I'm talking to you. No matter how much or how little material wealth you have, don't you dare forget the truly important things in this life. If you have to ask, you need more help than I'm qualified to give you. Anyway, I hope I made you laugh and think. As always, much love to everyone who took the time to check this video out. I love you. More than a friend. Hmm. Hmm.